So hi there students, welcome back to another video lesson. So after nating i-discuss yung uh, domain and range of a function, so yung next lesson natin is graphing and illustrating linear functions. So illustrate natin yung linear functions and then at the same time, i-graph natin. So for our lesson objectives, we will graph and illustrate a linear function. So, let's have linear function. So, ano nga ba yung linear function na yan? So, a linear function may be defined as f of x or function of x is equal to mx plus b where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. So, kung familiar po kayo sa linear equation, yung graph po ng linear equation at linear function ay pareho lang. Okay. So, mamaya makikita nyo kung bakit magkaiba ang linear function sa linear equation. So, yung m, slope pa rin naman po, yung stiffness of a line. And then, b is the y-intercept pa rin. And then, the graph of a linear function is a straight line. So, since yung graph ng linear equation is a straight line, the graph of a linear function is also a straight line. And then, the degree of a linear function is 1. Okay, so yung highest degree ng function na yan is 1. So kapag nakita natin yung degree ng given function is 2, o kaya 0, 3, hindi po yun considered as linear function. So let's have an activity para mas makilala nyo pa yung linear function. Determine whether h is a linear function or not. Check yes if it is a linear function and no if it is not. Write the degree of the function. For linear functions, identify the slope and the y-intercept. So, identify lang natin yung mga given function kung linear function o hindi. Don't worry, lahat ng given natin, function. And then, kapag yes, iti-check natin yung column na yes. Pag no naman, no ang iti-check natin. And then, uh, isusulat din natin kung ano yung degree ng given function na yun. So, yung highest degree dun sa given function na yun, yun na magigil, magiging uh, degree ng given function. And then, for linear functions naman, so kapag na-identify natin na linear function yung given natin, identify natin yung slope at yung y-intercept. So, let's start. For number 1, f of x is equal to 2x plus 7. So, ano ang kanyang degree? Yung highest degree niya, 1. Is it a linear function or not? So, since yung degree niya, 1, this is a linear function. And then, since linear function siya, pwede natin identify yung slope, m, tsaka yung y-intercept, b. So, yung slope, matatagpuan po siya dun sa 2x, yung coefficient ng x, which is 2. So, yung slope natin, 2, is a positive. Next, yung uh, y-intercept naman, yung constant term, which is 7. Next, f of x is equal to negative 5x. Ano yung highest degree niya? 1 din po. So, since 1 yung highest degree niya, this is also a linear function. And then, the slope is negative 5 and then, as you can see, wala po tayong y-intercept. So, yung y-intercept niya is 0. Next, f of x is equal to 8. So, ano ang degree ng 8? So, since constant term yon, yung degree po ng 8 is 0. So, since 0 ang degree niya, this is not a linear function. And then, wala din po siyang slope tsaka y-intercept. Next, f of x is equal to x squared minus 9. So, the highest degree, ayan po, kitang kita naman, 2. So, this is not a linear function. And then, wala din po siyang slope, tsaka y-intercept. Next, last one, f of x is equal to 4 plus 3x. So, in 4 plus 3x can be uh, arranged as 3x plus 4. Ayan. Kailangan po kasi nakasulat po yung function natin, any given function natin in standard form. So, pag standard form, yung mga uh, terms 
naka-arrange naka sila in decreasing powers, pababa. So, yung highest degree ang nasa unahan, and then pababa. So, yung highest degree ng given natin is 1. So, this is a linear function. And then, yung slope natin, so yung coefficient ng x is 3. And then, yung y-intercept, 4. So, I hope naging clear yung uh, discussion natin kung paano ba ang pag-classify ng linear function tsaka hindi. And then, kung paano i-identify yung slope tsaka intercept as well as yung degree. So, kasama po sa discussion natin is yung domain and range. So, mamaya po kasi yung igagrap natin yun, makikita nyo yung domain tsaka yung range. So, again, to the define domain, this is the set of all x values or input values. So, lahat ng x values, domain po yun. And then, lahat ng y values or output values, uh, range naman po yun. So, ayan. So, let's have uh, an example, a table of values. So, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, tsaka 2, lahat po yan, domain nagsisilbing input values po. And then, kapag may in-input tayo, of course, meron tayong output. Yun naman yung mga y values, yung range. Negative 7, negative 5, negative 3, negative 1, tsaka 1. So, graph of a linear function. So, igagraph na natin yung linear function. As I've said a while ago, so, yung graph po ng linear equation tsaka linear function, pareho pong straight line. So, a linear function can be described using its graph, which is a straight line. So, let's have example number 1. Determine the values of the function f if f of x is equal to 3x minus 1 at x is equal to negative 1, 0, and 2. Then, graph the given function using the obtained values of function f. So, meron po tayo yung function which is f of x is equal to 3x minus 1. And then, meron tayong mga x values, mga domain, negative 1, 0, and 2. So, kukunin lang natin yung mga, yung values ng function f gamit yung mga x values na yan. So, ang gagawin lang natin, we will substitute the values of x to f of x is equal to 3x minus 1. And then, after nating makuha yon is isusulat natin sa table para mas malinaw using table of values. So, let's have x is equal to negative 1. So, magiging ganito siya nun. f of negative 1 is equal to 3 times negative 1 minus 1. And then, 3 times negative 1, that is negative 3 minus 1. So, negative 3 minus 1, that is negative 4. So, yun po yung uh, f of negative 1. So, sulat lang natin dito, negative 4. And then, f of 0 naman, 3 times 0 minus 1. Any number multiply to 0, that is 0. So, 0 minus 1, that is negative 1. So, f of 0 is equal to negative 1. And then, if x is equal to 2, so that will become f of 2 equals 3 times 2 minus 1. So, 3 times 2 is 6. And then, subtracting 1, so f of 2 is equal to 5. So, you can see, may mga nakuha tayong values of x. Uh, f of f of x nung sinubstitute natin yung negative 1, 0, and 2. So, negative 1 for negative 4, 0, negative 1, 2, 5. So, yung next step natin, so, since nakuha na natin yung mga points na kailangan natin para i-graph natin yung linear function, so, ipa-plot natin yung mga points na yon. So, ayan po yung mga nakuha nating points. Negative 1, negative 4, 0, negative 1, 2, 5. So, and then, meron tayong Cartesian coordinate plane. So, hindi pa rin naman nagbabago yan. Meron tayong x-axis, y-axis. So, yung x-axis yung uh, horizontal axis. And then, vertical axis yung y-axis. 
And then, yung intersection ng dalawang axis na yan is the origin. So, ipa-plot lang natin yung negative 1, negative 4. Una muna yan. And then, yung 0, negative 1. Tsaka, 2, 5. So, since yung ating given function, meron siyang positive slope, kasi nga, 3, uh, f of x is equal to 3x plus 1, wherein yung coefficient ng x doon is 3. Yung 3 is positive. Kaya, kaya yung ating uh, graph, positive slope. So, increasing from left to right. So, i-connect natin yung mga points para makita natin yung positive slope nga. So, ayan. So, increasing from left to right siya. So, yan po yung graph ng linear function. f of x is equal to 3x minus 1. Next, for our example number 2, determine the values of the function f if f of x is equal to negative x plus 2 at x is equal to negative 3, negative 1, and 4. Then, graph the given function using the obtained values of function f. So, you can see, dito pa lang sa ating given, negative x, ang coefficient niya is negative 1. So, yung slope po niya is negative so, gamit yung mga x values na negative 3, negative 1, 4, makukuha natin yung tatlong points na pwede natin gamitin para i-graph yung linear function. So, let's have uh, the solution. So, we will substitute the values of x to f of x is equal to negative x plus 2. And then, kagaya kanina, isulat natin in a table para mas uh, presentable silang tignan. So, let's have x is equal to negative 3. So, magiging f of negative 3 equals, so, negative x plus 2, magiging ganito siya, negative, and then parenthesis, negative 3 plus 2. And then, f of negative 3 is equal to, so, negative times negative 3, that will become positive 3 plus 2. So, 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. So, f of negative 3 is equal to 5. Next, x is equal to negative 1, that is f of negative 1, equals negative, parenthesis negative 1, plus 2. So, f of negative 1 is equal to negative times negative 1, that is positive 1, plus 2. And 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. And then, x is equal to 4, so that will become f of 4 equals negative 4 plus 2. So, f of 4 is equal to negative 4 plus 2, that is negative 2. So, upon substituting the values of x, which are negative 3, negative 1, 4, nakuha natin yung mga... Uh, values 5, 3, negative 2. So, since nakuha na natin yung mga points na kailangan natin, so we will plot all the points in the coordinate plane and connect them. And then, yung uh, uh, given function natin, meron siyang slope which is negative. So, negative kasi siya, negative 1. So, ipa-plot natin yung mga points, negative 3, 5, Ayan siya. Negative 1, 3. And then 4, negative 2. As you can see, decreasing siya from uh, left to right. So, kung kanina, positive slope, increasing from left to right. Ngayon naman, decreasing from left to right. So, i-connect natin yung mga points. So, yan po yung graph ng linear function. f of x is equal to negative x plus 2. So, I hope naging clear yung discussion natin sa uh, linear functions. So, kung paano in-illustrate yung linear function, kailan linear function yung given, kailan hindi, and then kung paano i-graph yung linear function. So, ang mahalaga lang naman doon, alam nyo kung paano i-graph yung linear equation, alam nyo na rin i-graph yung linear function. So, our next video lesson, we will solve problems involving linear functions. 
So, pag-uusapan natin dyan, of course, uh, word problems, real-life applications of uh, linear functions. So, yun lang. Maraming salamat.